so now in this lecture we'll uh, go on to the next module uh, which is talking about attention over images so let's first uh, motivate why is it so different and what could be done there right so the question is how do we model an attention mechanism for images so in the case of text we have a representation for every location of the input sequence right so every location in the input sequence in the case of text was a word and then we were looking at this problem of transliteration every location was a character and whether it's a character or a word for everything it was discrete so we could just know that this is the input at time step t and then we know that along all the inputs at different time steps we want to pay attention to certain time steps right so that the definition there was very straightforward right uh, now for images what do we do so for images we typically take the representation from a CNN right it could be FC7 or any of the convolution layers or max pooling layers right now there is no concept of time step there right because the entire image is given to you at one go so now how do you decide where to pay attention to but if you think about it it does make sense at least uh, the motivation is very clear so for example for this figure if I am trying to generate the description as a man throwing a frisbee in a garden or in a park or something like that right so when I am generating the word man I would want to focus only on the man and not focus on any other part of the image similarly when I am generating the word frisbee I would like to focus on this maybe when I am saying throwing I would like to focus on his hand action or something like that and in a park I would like to focus on the background and so on so it does make sense that each word in the description is covering from a, coming from a different uh, uh, space in the image right or a different position in the image uh, but the representation that we use say the FC7 representation that does not contain any location information it is just a flattened vac vector that we had so now how do we do this how do we get attention on locations is the motivation and the problem clear the motivation is straightforward the problem is that we are using FC7 representation which is just a flat vector remember that was a fully connected vector and does not have any location based encoding so if for example if the fully connected uh, vector is of size 5 and 2 I cannot say that the first 12 or first 24 of these 5 and 2 dimensions correspond to this set of pixels the next 24 correspond to this set of pixels and so on right so that's the problem how do I what do I attend to how do I decide where to attend to no but that's what I'm saying that the vector the elements of the vector or the dimension of the vectors don't have any semantics right that it's not that the first dimension corresponds to first location what we want an attention on is locations in the image right but the first dimension in the vector fc7 vector does not correspond to any specific location in the image remember that was a fully connected vector right so it corresponds to everything in the image so what's something simpler than that why do i say something simpler than that object detection in itself is a in itself is another convolution neural network which does this and so on right and we saw this fast are seen in faster are seen in and problems no let's solve the problem at hand right? the problem is hand is that i want I'll just rephrase the problem definition so that the answer becomes obvious. I want a representation which allows to give, which allows me to get some location information. No, but the fully connected layer, if you, if you backtrack, it was fully connected by definition, right? The answer is really straightforward. The problem only arises at the fully connected layer, right? Because that's fully connected. But what about the outputs from the convolution layers? Do they have position information? Right? We saw that. Uh, suppose this is VGG whatever it is 16 I guess and this is what I am saying has a problem because this was fully connected so you don't know that this dimension corresponds to location 1 location 2 and so on but if you look at the convolution layers we know that everything here actually goes back to some location in the image and if I learn to pay attention to this guy maybe I am paying attention to some equivalent portion in the image does that make sense right now can you build on this intuition and tell me I want this as a solution right so in the case of uh, words these are the word vectors that I had at every location and I was learning to pay attention to them right I was learning these alphas for each of these now what's the corresponding diagram for images what is each of these bo boxes going to be you have to learn the attention weights what do you mean by pass no so maybe I'm not understanding your answer what is the equivalent of this this box which I have highlighted there between the image and some attention weight so you are directly going to operate on the image remember attention weights are never given to us no one will mark that man is this frisbee is this and park is this or whatever there is no supervision same size as the convolution what 
you know, what's the size of a convolution? Let's take the last one, right? So, what do you mean by size? You mean 5 and 2, or you mean 14, or you mean the other 14? Yeah, that's the size of the output 5 and 2 cross 14 cross 14. So, what do you mean by the size 5 and 2 or 14 or 14 or 5 and 2 cross 14 cross 14? Channels does not make sense because channels capture I mean I mean you do not want to focus on the red part or the green part or the blue part in some cases you might that is correct ok. These are all partially correct answers going in the right direction uh, let us just think a bit more and see. So, uh, probably between these two they give some part of the answer now can you think of it. Say I want a representation for the image first of all all of us are clear that we do not want to work with the raw image right that is all of us are clear with that. The second part is we are going to work with a convolutional neural network we want to pick up a representation for the convolutional neural network which gives us location information right and we agree that the fully connected layer does not give us the convolution layers give this ok. So, I am asking you to focus on one of the convolution layers which is 5 and 2 cross 14 cross 14. So, let us see from there how will we try to get these attentions ok. So, the output of the fifth convolution layer or phi c this is I think uh, this whole thing is phi and this is phi a phi b and phi c right these this is how the code or the general architecture is numbered. So, this guy has 14 cross 14 locations right the 5 and 2 cross 14 cross 14 output. So, it is 5 and 2 channels, but the number of locations is 14 cross 14 and we have seen that each of these 14 cross 14 locations corresponds to certain portion in the image right. Now, for each of these 14 cross 14 locations that means, I have 196 such, such locations and for each of this how many dimensional representation do I have I want everyone to say this 5 and 2 because you are reading it from the figure no what you are taking is the one taking this pixel can you see what I am highlighting and taking it across the depth right. So, that is why 5 and 2 dimensional representation of one pixel in your output volume and how many such pixels do you have 196 and each of these pixels corresponds to some real location in your image that means, it has space information right ok. So, now these are the 196 locations that you have now this looks very much similar to that diagram that we had for words. So, now you can think of it that you have 196 items in your sequence and now what will you do we will learn to pay. Uh, so, what would that look like? So, at every time step you will have an equation for alphas right let us try to write an abstract equation right. First of all give me the indices of alpha what does alpha compute the importance of the of the jth location at the tth time step fine is that ok. What should this be a function of the second part is kind of obvious. So, let us call these as h 1 to h 1 96. So, these are the j's or the t's j's or the t's j's. So, what would the second parameter be h j and what is the first parameter be what is the decoder in this case we are trying to generate a caption that means, we are trying to generate a sequence that means, what will be the decoder be R n n. So, what should it depend on s t or s t minus 1 s t minus s t is the current thing right that you do not know yet. So, it will depend on s t minus 1 comma h j of course, you can make it dependent on several other things also, but at the minimum you will see these two things right because you are trying to understand the importance of these guys. So, these better participate in the function and you are trying to compute the importance at a current time step. So, you better know what has happened till time step time step t minus 1 this is not very different from the attention equation that we had written in, in fact, it is the same actually and what was one form of this attention that we had seen does anyone remember that we had carefully analyzed the parameters and the dimensions of that form what should the output of this function be scalar vector matrix scalar right. So, what is the form that we had seen for this function v transpose tan h of something you should be get comfortable in writing these equations right because that is what you will do if you are proposing your models and so on right. So, you will say ok in the previous model this depended on the following two quantities I think it should depend on four more quantities. So, I will write a new equation just think about it there are two inputs st minus 1 and h j what will we do with each of these inputs do a introduce some parameters. So, what will you do w into s t minus 1 plus v into oh so u into plus 
some bias right. So, just get comfortable with this right I mean that is all I mean whatever we have seen. So, first of all remember that the attention is a feed forward linear network. The moment I tell you that you should know that it should have a linear transformation followed by a non-linearity right. So, that should have been very very clear that it would have a linear transformation followed by a non-linearity okay. And this is the non-linearity and then you have this other constraint that you want the output to be a scalar that is why you had this guy which was a vector multiplied by a vector which gives you a scalar. Everyone is comfortable with this right. So, you see that the attention over images is not very different from attention over sequences it is more or less the same once you figure out what is the correct representation to use so that you get the space information after that it is straightforward right okay. So, that ends the module.